New studies by the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety say the car systems meant to help drivers can actually be confusing them instead. And that confusion can actually result in crashes. Consumer investigator Steve Sprache is getting answers about what needs to be done to clear up that confusion. There was a time when automobiles had fairly simple controls like the directional, the windshield wipers, or even climate control, or gauges on the instrument cluster like fuel level or the temperature of your radiator. And most everybody knew how to make them work and what they meant, but many new vehicles are becoming so complicated, researchers say they're confusing drivers, and that is creating a safety hazard. As this information does become more complex for the driver, it's important the automakers realize that they need to be able to simplify this information so that it is really intuitive. Vehicle systems vary in how they convey the information back to the driver. These displays are important because they tell you when a system is temporarily inactive. If you're not familiar with that vehicle, you may not respond appropriately or you may not respond in time. Researchers say, the driver assistance systems in new vehicles are so complicated, you just can't jump in them for the first time and then drive away. We also think there is value in doing some orientation, some training. Then there are the names of the systems, which can be dangerously misleading. What they name a system has implications for what the driver understands. The Institute says a survey of over 2,000 drivers found a name like autopilot creates misconceptions. Almost half of the survey respondents indicated that they could take their hands off the steering wheel. And almost 6% of the respondents thought they could take a nap. The Institute says the word assist is better than pilot in naming those systems and says it'll work with automakers to find better names in the future. We We've got to make sure that we're not introducing any risk to the driving task. If you want to know more, I've linked to both studies in today's web story. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.